Hey guys, this is Dave from Cart Speed Solutions again. This is our second video in a series of videos uh, that we're doing that teaches how to download data from your Micron into your computer. In the first video, we worked on uh, installing the Race Studio H3 program to your computer. In this video, we're going to take it a step further and start working on connecting the Micron to your computer and trying to get the, the data out of the Micron on, into the Race Studio H3 program. This is a picture of my desktop. Um, as you can see, the Race Studio 3 icon is in the upper right hand corner. Beside it is the Race Studio Race Studios 2 analysis icon. That also gets installed on your computer when you install the Race Studio 3 program. I've organized these icons in mine, so yours may not look exactly the same, but they are on there. Next, what you need to do is you need to double click the Race Studio 3 icon. When you double click the Race Studio icon, this is going to open up and this is going to be your home screen. Okay? Once you get to this point, you need to grab your Micron and you need to turn it on. Once your Micron gets to its home screen, you need to hit the menu button in the upper left hand corner of your Micron. Once you hit that button and access uh, the menu of the Micron, you need to go over to the Wi-Fi icon and push enter. Once you've accessed the Wi-Fi menu, you need to make sure the Wi-Fi mode on your Micron is on. As you can see on my Micron, it is, it is turned on, so this one is ready to go. Once you do that, you can set your Micron down, go back to your computer, and open up Race Studio H3. Once you open Race Studio H3 again, I want you to click on the network or the Wi-Fi button up in the upper right hand corner of the um, of the home screen as presented with the red arrow. When you do that, you're going to have a drop down menu come up and it's going to have a list of networks. The network that you want to click on is the one listed as AIM Micron 5 as presented again with the red arrow. Once you click on that, your Micron is going to connect to Race Studio H3. You'll know it's connected when it, in the lower left hand corner of the home screen of Race Studio H3, it says connected devices. As you can see, Gavin's Micron is connected to Race Studio H3. Once it's connected, you need to hit the Wi Fi icon right beside it as presented with the red arrow. It, at this point, it is going to start communicating with your, with your Micron. Once you do that, it is going to pull up a download screen. It is the second tab right beside Live Measures as presented with the red arrow. What you're seeing is a list of runs that is gathered in the memory of your Micron. At this point, you need to choose the run that you would wish to download onto your computer and into the Race Studio H3 program um, by checking the box that you would like to choose. In this example, I've chosen the uh, the run from January 9th at Low Country Cartway. It had 27 laps, and the fastest lap was 14.74. When I'm ready to download, then I'm going to push the download button, and at that point, the Race to Use 3 program is going to start downloading the selected run. It is going to have a green progress bar and it only takes two or three seconds. Once it is downloaded, the run will disappear from the screen in Race Studio 3 and it can be relocated in the Race Studio 2 analysis icon. Um, we're going to get a little bit more deeper into that in the next video, but now the information from your Micron has moved from the Micron now into Race Studio 3. Uh, we'll talk to you next time, and we'll dive a little bit deeper into moving the the uh, run data uh, from Brace Studios 2 into an email form. Thank you, guys, and we'll talk to you later.